to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, hey! Uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! On the ground! I wanna see- I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. It could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Plan Try simple. It. Do nothing odd. Don't get... Creative. You go in, snatch the cash, Get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind, roll it back to the top. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple, do nothing odd. Okay, you can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD Roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Six case of Brosif and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors Cody and yeah. certain everybody. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Okay, fuck on you. Ah, little shitheads. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay? We have a deal today on two flavors. 
That's like the limits of the reality recorded by the BD roller. The editor won't let you outside it. Make sense? And yeah. and Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screens in the kids feel the vision. Then scan it. His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You like a cotton fuck meat, are you? Evelyn, 
She... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no! They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. You shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I with Mark Foss again. But I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish with the name of the now. With Mark Foss again. No! They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But... Uh... Gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. I said, no! They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as easily. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Everything alright? Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. 
Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. No, I'm safe. This part is utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a never loving it. The heat sig matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six.
live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. Will it? A moment. It will pass. Just one condition. You Very nice, but come here already. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. What do you think? So, what now? V. 
Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few work. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead? Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that buy. To work then, Mr. V. night, Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's rattling on about the bank stuff, yada, yada, yada. All the while, I'm angling to get a word in, because I need her to cover for me that afternoon when I go pick my daughter up from preschool. But it's chill, you know. Then, this guy stumbles in, whacked out, almost knocks over Maul at the door. He go ape sheet inside? Nah, get this. Shun says he wants real fun, real flesh, punching animal life. No virtue shit. He knows it's not allowed. Stout here. Okay. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck-up's toxic for you, I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Ugh, still feel like shit. Lil' hair of the dog? Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. Oh, hey. See? Hello? No, it, it's my friend. She works 8th Street. Out of bounds. Not our show. Okay. I know, I know, but she wants out. She'd rather not be there. Rather work here, full time. Problem is, her daddy won't let her go. Said if she tried, he'd damage the goods and not even bat an eye. Daddy got a name? Don't know his real deeds. Heard some people call him Latex Fred. Douchey, I know. Mm, yeah, all right. Tell your friend that Mr. Latex won't be a problem no more. My, what a sweet little face you have. Going in or staying out? Do not fucking touch me! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs>
problem. Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just wanna talk! Meredith? Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep, now. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Check out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on. All corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me. Eddie's on the cred ship or queen. And I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake. This cub's already good as dead. But she'll take you down with her.
Ah, there you are. Let me hear what you squared away. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Hello? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. I want to talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. We could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. I don't think I've ever seen security like this in the Chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. I've been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. Gives. Primerito, 
I don't like this guy's tone. Segundo, sitting on your ass makes you an easy target. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet, you Jack, skull. sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on. Gotta line up. Take a hit. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. Flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Hmm. Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! Of course not. Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah. Ravens are baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we gotta sell that shit. Yep, we'll take it. Free. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck break then. Let's cut a new deal. Huh. Now that's good business sense. Alright. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Nice. Ask you a question. Got him right here. Just like that! Without that in a fucking eye! <laughs> Want it or not, I got places to be. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica? <laughs> Is he dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Here's the cred. Hell, I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? Cred chip was spiked with a virus. Don't worry. I wiped it. Check it.
If this is a trick, I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grunt. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. <laughs> More their fucking style, I'd say. Let's go! For the, we'll ride the production line! Flip it on! away from this laser. I'm ground beef. It's linked to a mine. So you're a brick, yeah? I'm a brick. Poison to a god. Felt like a fucking eternity. Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. I think we'll do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, baby. I'll catch you. I kind of call I ain't late for breakfast! Time's over!
Gate. We can talk there. Wait! Hold He's your coming fire. for me. I'd like a word with him. He shot at my people. You know this? Anthony Gilchrist. Still alive. And not hogtied for a change. Have a good memory for names. But that's nowhere near enough when Militech personnel get shot up. They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. Gotta admit, didn't expect to see you here. You were followed, but I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. When you don't know what to do, why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? What happened to Stout? She placed some bad bets, her clock ran out, simple as that. Suffice to say, you won't be seeing her again. And you, why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him too. 
It's been a pleasure. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. We make a good team, Jack. I think you might be right. In any case, I don't regret switching my life up the way I did. Now that'd be the sweet taste of success, my friend. Hey, call up Dex, let him know we got his toy. Meeting to celebrate at the afterlife. Ahí luego, V. You need something? What do you know about Dex to Sean? Best fixer in town. Found exactly who I needed faster than the rest. And asked the fewest questions. Too bad his marks don't follow his lead. You know Judy a while? Why does that matter to you? Doesn't. Just curious. I trust her. She won't betray us. I think that's all you need to know. Why'd you set the meet up at Lizzie's? Good a place as any. You linked to the mock somehow? Yes. We share a fondness for discretion. Talk later. Don't let me down, V. How are things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Mr. V. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that bio chip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. Don't walk. 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 Don't walk.